Nearly 300 people from 50 co-ops participated in four regional co-op cafes in March focused on thriving in the new competitive landscape. We use powerful questions to advance the thinking, build shared understanding, and create alignment among participants at the cafes, at individual co-ops, and among co-ops both regionally and nationally. One question was, imagine that we're heading off on a journey into a future that includes cooperatives thriving in a competitive marketplace. On our journey, what should we take? What should we leave behind? And what's one thing we should do right away to get ready? Participants distill the conversations they've been having down to just a few words. Here's a sampling. So we're going to take with us authentic community engagement and ownership. It was community connection, education, and touch the hearts of our customers. Staff, local farmers, member loyalty. Our listening skills and focus on good process like today. We're going to take uh, our authenticity, a focus on excellence. We are taking with us a dedication to our cooperative identity and authenticity. The idea that we are really good grocers. Our values, our business model, and our story. We will take principles, history, and education. Commitment to healthy community and local economy. The bigger we are, the better we can fulfill our ends and our mission. We are taking our values. We are taking our compelling history and story. Let's take openness and commitment to change. We will take values, trust, and authenticity. And we want to take the commitment to all of our communities. Professionalism. Commitment to the highest level of professionalism for running a grocery store, a cooperative grocery store. We're going to take operational experience in governance, innovation. And we're going to keep innovating new resources to support the local food economy. And we're taking snacks. <laughs> Something we are leaving behind is snobbiness and sloppiness. Exclusively catering to the core. The frump. I'm going to leave behind grandiosity, superiority, and self-righteousness. A culture of exclusivity and our fear. Moral superiority and cynicism about growth. Close-mindedness and judgmentalism. Preconceptions about co-ops. We are leaving the grungy 70s. <laughs> our sense of righteousness aversion to growth and exclusivity from fringe and fear and the co-op ego to leave behind outmoded attitudes such as profitability is bad fear of change and fear of growth we're gonna leave the phrase we've always done it that way we're going to leave behind the same old we're leaving behind fear resistance to scale or stated otherwise size doesn't matter and we're going to leave any sense of embarrassment that, embarrassment that part of who we are is a profit-driven business. The thinking that the old ways are the best ways. We are going to leave behind fear of change, of the unknown, of success, of competition, of failure, of big is bad. And right away, we will do communication, education, and training. To pick one step one weakness and make it a strength. Leadership development with systems. To get ready we will embrace a culture of continuous improvement. Right now we are going to do what we do now better or be like Bozeman. We will engage in a self-reflexive critique and analysis. Operate under the assumption that the competition is coming right now. Listen to your owners in the competition. Merchandise the food that people want now. Training for excellence. We're going to take with us the CDS Consulting Co-op. 